buck a buck a buck a buck a buck a buck a You know the deal. The next thing we're going to talk about in our measurement unit is converting square and cubic units. But before we talk about that, let's just uh, do a quick review of how we convert linear units. Well, the nice thing about the metric system is um, all of the conversions involve what are called powers of 10. So, for example, if you have one meter uh, and you want to know how many centimeters that is, we, we know that we have a hundred centimeters in a meter. So to convert uh, meters to centimeters, well here we can see we're changing one to a hundred, so we would times by a hundred. When converting centimeters to meters, we can see we're changing a hundred to one, so we would divide by a hundred. Another example of a linear unit would be uh, if we have one centimeter and we want to convert that to millimeters. Well, we know now that there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter. So to convert centimeters to millimeters, we would multiply by 10. To convert millimeters to centimeters, we would divide by 10. So, uh, for example, if we had, say, 5.3 meters and we wanted to know how many centimeters that was. Well, as we can see over here on the left, uh, to convert meters to centimeters, we know we're multiplying by 100. And if we multiply by 100, we move the decimal two places to the right. So if we take this decimal and move it two places to the right, uh, we would have 530 centimeters. So 5.3 meters is 530 centimeters. If we had 28 millimeters and we wanted to convert that to centimeters, well, again, on the left here, we can see when we're going from millimeters to centimeters, we divide by 10. And when we divide by 10, we move the decimal to the left one place. Right now, the decimal is here. So if we divide that 28 by 10, we move the decimal one place to the left, so 28 millimeters is 2.8 centimeters. So that's just a quick review using a couple of examples, and, and in the metric system we have several different uh, linear units that we use, kilometers, decimeters, um, decameters are all examples of linear units, um, but I'm not going to go through all of those because at this point you should understand how to convert linear units. Uh, but we need to know how to convert linear units to be able to explore how to convert square units. And that's what we're going to look at now. So the first example we're going to look at is converting uh, meter squared to centimeter squared. So uh, we want to start with our base unit, which is just one. So if we have one meter squared, and we want to know how many centimeters squared that is. Well, uh, let's explore this a little bit by looking at what an actual meter squared is. So understanding um, from the video on 1D, 2D, and 3D uh, measurements, we know that one meter squared is a square. And it's a square that is one meter by one meter. So here we have one meter squared. And if we want to know how many centimeters squared that is, well, we would have to calculate the area of this square, but in centimeters squared. So we need to know the length and the width in centimeters. Well, we know that one meter is 100 centimeters. So this square is one meter by one meter. But another way to say that is it's 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. So to calculate the area of this square in centimeters squared, we would have to multiply 100 times 100. And 100 times 100 is 10,000. So what we can see here right away is that linear units and square units work differently. They are related, but they're, they're not the same. So one meter squared is 10,000 centimeters squared. And we can see why here, because a meter by a meter is 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. 100 times 100 is 10,000. Well, next, let's take a look at an example of a cubic unit. So suppose we have one meter cubed. And 
we want to know how many centimeters cubed that is. Well, in order to explore this again, let's take a look at what a meter cubed actually is. And once again, from the video on what three-dimensional measurement means, uh, we know that a meter cubed, one meter cubed, is a cube. Uh, and it's a cube that's one meter by one meter by one meter. Well, once again here, if we want to understand what this is in centimeters cubed, we have to express the length, the width, and the height in centimeters. And uh, we know that one meter is 100 centimeters. So the length, the width, the height of this cube in centimeters is 100 by 100 by 100 centimeters. So if we wanted to calculate the volume of this cube in centimeters cubed, we would have to times 100 times 100 times 100, which is a 1 with 6 zeros. So when we have 1 meter cubed, we have 1 million centimeters cubed. And once again, we can see here why. 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters, the volume of that cube in centimeters cubed is 100 times 100 times 100, which is a million. So what you're, what you're probably starting to notice is that, again, these square units and cubic units are, are, do not work in the same way as linear units. Uh, so you might ask yourself, well, now do I have to memorize a bunch of different conversions for square units and cubic units to be able to know how to do this? And, and the answer to that is no. You don't have to memorize the fact that a meter squared is 10,000 centimeters squared and a meter cubed is a million centimeters cubed. When you're having to convert square or cubic units, um, one way to do that is, is to go through a process where first we look at the linear unit. So if we have a meter, we, we, have to, we do have to know that that's 100 centimeters. And, and by now, you should have that memorized. Well, if you want to uh, convert square meters, say, so knowing that one meter is 100 centimeters squared, well, one meter squared is one meter times one meter. And that's one meter squared, which means we're going to have to also square the linear unit for centimeters. So it would be 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters, or 100 centimeters squared. So as long as you know that one meter is 100 centimeters, to, to get the square conversion, you simply square that value or times it by itself. So one meter squared is 100 times 100. Having that exponent 2 there can help you mem remember that that's what you have to do. And 100 times 100 is 10,000, four zeros. Same idea with cubic units. As long as you remember that uh, one meter is 100 centimeters. When you want to know what one meter cubed is, that means 100 centimeters cubed. So 100 times 100 times 100. Uh, 100 times 100 times 100 is 1 million. So here's another example where we're having to convert square units. So now we have 38 centimeters squared, and we want to know how many millimeters squared that is. In order to be able to do this, we're always going to start with the linear units. So your first step with these conversions is to, to understand what the conversion would be if they were just uh, converting linear units. And for converting the linear units, let's just do it for, for one, so for a unit of, uh, of each of these. So we know that if we have one centimeter, that is 10 millimeters. The next step is, well, well now we have to convert that to our, our square unit in this case. So in this case, we're converting it to a square unit because we want to know how many millimeters squared are in 38 centimeters squared. Uh, well, if we have one centimeter squared, then we have to square our linear unit for millimeters. Squaring means timesing it by itself, 
likewise. So 10 times 10 is 100. So 1 centimeter squared is 100 millimeters squared. So finally, the last step here is to, to actually apply the conversion. So here we want to change from centimeter squared to millimeter squared. And we can see that mathematically to do that, we have to multiply by 100. So with our question, we're converting centimeter squared to millimeter squared. In order to be able to do that, we have to multiply by 100. And 38 times 100 is 3,800. So if we have 38 centimeters squared, we have 3,800 millimeters squared. So here's another example. Uh, this time, though, we're uh, converting cubic units. So we have 12 million centimeters cubed, and we want to know how many meters cubed that is. Well, once again, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the linear conversion. So we're dealing with meters and centimeters here. So we know that one meter is 100 centimeters when we're doing our linear con conversion. So now what we're going to do is we're going to convert that to, to cubic units in this case. So we want to know, well, what about if we have one meter cubed? If we have one meter cubed, that means we have to cube our linear unit for centimeters. Cubing means multiplying it by itself three times. So 100 times 100 times 100, which is a million. So if we have one meter cubed, we have a million centimeters cubed. So now what we're doing is we're converting from centimeters cubed to meters cubed. So if we look at that in our general conversion here in step two, when we go from centimeters cubed to meters cubed, we have to divide by a million or move the decimal to the left six places. So that's what we have to do here. We have to take our value for centimeters cubed and divide it by a million because we're changing from centimeters cubed to meters cubed. And when we divide 12 million by 1 million, we get 12. So 12 million centimeters cubed is 12 meters cubed. So to finish off our lesson on converting square and cubic units, I'm going to ask you to answer a few questions here. Uh, so for uh, question one to four, uh, w we're converting square and cubic units. Um, and again, with, with each of these, start with the linear unit and uh, then um, uh, understand what the square or cubic unit conversion would be and then apply it to this question. Uh, the last question, question five, uh, what you're given there is that you have four meters cubed of water, and I want to know how many grams that is. So in order to do that, you're going to have to refer to the last video on uh, volume, capacity, and mass. And hopefully understand that first you're going to have to convert that to centimeters cubed, and then figure out how many grams of water that would be. Uh, if you're able to answer those questions, congratulations. You now have a firm understanding of how to convert square and cubic units.